So my name is Omar Ambassad. It's a Wednesday, April 10, 2019 at 11.22 p.m. in Toronto. So um, I was uh, I was sleeping and um, woke up in pain. And uh, this is the, um, the power turned up. The jaw, the neck, the neck is hurting, right here, the base of the, the, the head, right there, the ear, have a dull headache. So I just took my pressure, 151 over 98, 85 pulse, and that's sleeping. I got out, I uh, dozed off on the sofa, and I got up in pain. So I was lying down for the last six hours. Well, actually, um, probably about four hours. So. Power turned up. I was updated. Um, around the building, people have their windows open, and um, I was updated that, um, and I have my windows open. Excuse me, and uh, I was updated that the that Ranti has the account. Today is Wednesday. So there's always a process of changing hands. New teams are being built. And um, I understand that Ranty subcontracted with a Rick in the building. And Rick subcontracted to a worker. And the worker subcontracted with the neighbor. I might have that process wrong, but these people are people who uh, monitoring quote unquote so what they're doing is actually um, either stalking me themselves stalking me themselves as I walk out the, the, um, the building or have other people stalk me to gather information about me this is one way of stalking now the video that I did this morning and a, a few times pr previously the signals weren't on and if they were, it was very infrequent and power, low power. So there was one day that there was absolutely no signals, no alarms. And here is the difference. And you could tell by by this. How much pain I'm in and the effects it has these um, signals have on your body so when the power is turned up it um, it thickens your blood electromagnetic radiation has these effects on your body thickens the blood um, if it's pulsed on the veins you get clots in the veins if it's pulsed in the heart you get heart attacks pulsed in the head you can get strokes pulsed on the neck you can get aneurysms actually can get aneurysms anywhere in the body um, if you have prolonged periods of um, high blood pressure extremely high blood pressure and that's pretty high it will cause aneurysms because the uh, the veins have to expand and um, and uh, if it if it's constantly under pressure then you'll have a ballooning effect permanent ballooning effect then it will cause ruptures in the walls of the vein. That will cause strokes and other things and internal bleeding. So um, my obliques don't have magnets on me. Back. I heard that the cops are saying I'm mentally ill and they're going to pick me up and they, there's another ticket and uh, all this stress to live under 
constant fear of being picked up by the police or the EMS or whoever it is they send at your door is very, very, very stressful. Being hit with these signals is life-threatening. You put the two together and really it's, um, it's an intent to cause a heart attack, which is an intent to kill, basically. So um, what I just recorded is, uh, is a good example of the intent to kill using remote technologies and uh, stress by the constant harassment about being picked up, having a new ticket, um, getting uh, um, warrants that's in the file that could be executed any time. The names of the, 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 the cops are being called. Um, Constantly, there are two cops whose name I constantly hear, Dale and, um, and Stip. These cops are um, involved in the file and they think I'm mentally ill and they are working with the people in the building to gather information, to execute these warrants, basically. So the people in the building is saying that I'm suicidal, I'm depressed, um, and uh, nobody is coming to visit me and nobody cares about me and I can't take care of myself. Obviously I can or else I wouldn't be doing this. And uh, so um, I need to, to be picked up and get a mental evaluation. Which is why I'm doing this. These signals are meant to make you react in such a way to make you look like you're mentally ill because they act on your central nervous system. They, uh, they have, su they have um, effects on, subtle and not so subtle effects on your neurological systems in the body. It can affect moods. However, if you're aware that it affects your moods and you're aware of what's being done, then of course you're not going to act out. You're aware, like I am, um, meditation does that because I do meditate and I do a lot of research so I know um, I'm aware when of, um, of the times when I'm being affected. My, I, I'm very sensitive to the changes in my body. Now, if I'm asleep and I'm being acted and my body is being pulsed with these technologies, then of course I could die in my sleep. I could have a heart attack in my sleep and die. It depends on whose name is on the account and who, who, um, who signed me out and what sort of instructions they have, um, whether it's, um, it's a kill program, whether it's a, a rape program, whether it's a torture program, decides what they're going to do with these signals. And I demonstrated um, the different um, the different um, ways that these signals are used. Sometimes it's non-existent. Sometimes it's extremely high, and everything in between. So um, again, as I said before, this this program has a satanic twist to it. I am not saying that the cops are doing it. I'm not saying the government is doing it. I'm not saying any. Um, spy agencies are doing it. These agencies, as well as private companies, public companies, groups in the community, these are, these are all infiltrated by satanic groups who likes to stalk, torture, rape and kill men and women, but women because, um, because they feel fear so easily and uh, these satanic groups feed on fear. Uh, women are targeted more than men. So 70% of the, these victims, 70% of victims of these crimes are women, simply because they feel fear and they tend to disassociate, which is something that the satanic groups want because they want splitting. Personality is uh, torture to the point where the personality splits so they can act even more on that personality. So as they split, then each personality becomes something different. In other words, um, if you have somebody who's disassociated and you have 10 people logged on to that person at the same time, 
which is very possible. And they, uh, and they serially or simultaneously um, uh, act on the person's body. And these signals can be pulsed between your legs, and I demonstrated that as well. Uh, between your legs starts burning. You get bladder infections, you get inflammation. I don't because I shield. However, sometimes, uh, depending on what I use to shield and how, how strong the shielding is, the power is turned up. And when the power is turned up, then you get the burning sensations as you get the burning sensations on the skin. So you become aware that the power is turned up. This is all a satanic way of torture, remote torture. It's Satanism in practice in our society. And um, we are aware as a society that Satanism is on the rise. So this is not an anti-government spiel. This is an anti-satanic blog, really. When it, as time goes on, this is what I'm realizing more and more. It has nothing to do with the government. In fact, I'm very, very pro-government. Um, I'm sure as heck, anti-Satanism. I mean, everything that's good and positive, positive in our lives is anti-Satanic. So any normal human being would be anti-Satanic. And I definitely am, which is why I'm speaking out. Uh, Satanism is in our police force. Misogynistic practices is part of Satanism. Keeping women servile is part of Satanism. Stalking, torture, rape, murder, satanic ritual abuse, and sacrifice. All Satanism. So, um, again, the power is still turned on. And I'm getting a burning sensation on my back and my chest. So I'm just out of curiosity going to take my temperature. And if you can hear that alarm, 37.8. So according to this, I have a fever. 37.8. Thirty-seven two. And out of curiosity, you could tell by the brightness of the alarm, the power has been turned down on this side, not on this side. So let me take the temperature on this side. 37.8. The temperature on this side. It went back up. 37.8 because it's pulsed so when it's turned off temperature goes up down when it turns turned on temperature goes down 37 37.7 37, seven. 37, six. 37, six. So up and down. 37, six. 37, six. So I don't have a fever don't have a fever. So again, and a, um, the picture on my screen is frozen.
I'm going to take my pressure one more time and then I'll close this off. going to work anyway so um, my the cuffs got caught um, I'll take it off camera and um, I will show it to you tomorrow so it's going at 12 o'clock at night and I'm being radiated and both my ears are hurting and my eyes are burning too